Sometimes people break our hearts, especially when they do not appreciate a great mission we seek to attain. Some show fervent interest and passion and some ridicule instead. Allah tells us not to allow their words and mockery to affect us. If you look at the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in chapter 10, ayah 65, Allah says, وَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ قَوْلُهُمْ إِنَّ الْعِزَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Do not grieve at their remarks. Indeed, all might belongs to Allah. He is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. There's so many times in this world that we break down because of people's opinion, people discouraging us, communities breaking us down. But this should not deter our determination and remain steadfast with honor. People cannot produce our honor nor add to it. We must do our work sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if they, the people, do not appreciate us or even abuse us. We must not worry, for all honor is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The way the prophets were treated is very, very disturbing. They were ridiculed, tortured, exiled and killed. But they maintained honor and sought it from its own source. And today it is they who have honor. They have the izzah. They have the absolute izzah as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests their actions in the Holy Quran. When you look at the world today, how many of us respect the likes of Pharaoh and Namrud? Those who were ridiculed, tortured and killed have honor today. Prophet Musa alayhi salam has honor. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam has honor. Nuh has honor. In the long term, honor is only for those who perform righteous deeds. God consciously, even if people of their time do not appreciate them and do not understand them and do not perceive them and what they say. In the long term, it is only truth that will prevail. Only good intentions and actions and beliefs will determine who has the dignity in this world.